we can't really say because it's still on the drawing board, but I was going to be working very closely with Bell Media to come up with a new uh, format for uh, a show to do with style um, and lifestyle. You know, because fashion is so much more than what we wear. We used to say that with fashion television a lot, but truly the way it's portrayed in our lives. And also other things that, that women really care about that in, in a sense make us style creatures that we are. But it will be a, a multi-platform uh, format. It will just be a television show. That's sort of an old-fashioned notion. And it probably won't happen until uh, 2013, so stay tuned. know about or the next trend that we all sort of, you see that's the thing in fashion, you know, it, if you read the blogs, if you look at the fashion magazines and you see what the, the designers are setting down the runway, you know, the trends are pretty obvious. You know, if you're asking me to project on what might be coming that we don't even know about, that's hard to know what sort of, you know, anybody's guess. But, uh, you know, the color is something that we've really embraced this season in a huge way and I think that will continue. But I also think that um, there's a, a, a bit of a leaning towards a minimalistic um, trend as well. All that's not to say that that romance won't be all the rage. But when you see someone like you know um, Raph Simons having been hired by Dior, um, you know you have to start wondering like you know what direction that's going to go in because it's more of a minimalistic kind of design. Dior was always known for very fanciful, you know, John Galliano, Ruffles. So maybe uh, that's an indication of fashion moving, peering down a bit in some way.